So, Dr. Height, welcome. It seems seems like you are uh, appearing on pretty much every medium in town <laughs> to talk about the early start of school. We've been talking about this for two years, the, the early start of school, but yet there are some parents who are just now finding out about it. Um, what's been the reaction to school starting on August 27th? The reaction has been... Uh, pretty supportive in terms of, particularly with parents, in terms of their children coming back early. We are trying to do several things. One, front load as much instructional time as possible before children sit for national assessments or the, the SAT, advanced placement, or state assessments. The other thing we're trying to do is begin with an uninterrupted week of school so that students are in school for a whole week uh, so that you can start to build and establish climates and cultures in schools and a rapport with young people. And then I said two things, and everyone wanted to get out earlier. And we will be finishing this school year. This school year will be complete on June 4th for students and June 5th for staff members. You have the, the academic measures and the, the assessment results won't be in by the time the new school board needs to put together an academic calendar for next school year. So how will you know whether it's working? We can we can compare attendance uh, for down to the day um, for the past several years. Over the summer, you have been do- doing asbestos and mold and lead remediation. Um, give us an update. Tell us whether the affected schools will be ready uh, and safe when school opens. Yes, we, we can say with a great deal of certainty that um, those, those issues have been resolved, and, and we all those buildings are safe for students to return. The work, however, will continue. I mean, and the, as many people may remember, may recall, the, the governor also came through with an additional $7.6 million that can only be spent on the painting um, and doing many of, much of the paint stabilization work. The academic year under new management a new local school board. They've only had one meeting. It's been, it's been, it's difficult early on to get a, take their temperature for what kind of a board they're going to be. But uh, anecdotally, can you tell us about your relationship with the new school board? Number one, we've established a great working relationship with, with the new board. I do think that if people have been experiencing the SRC meetings over the past 17 years, I think one of the thing, one of the things that will be different is this board's willingness to engage. The district has a bell ringing ceremony to uh, ceremonially start the year. Uh, where is that going to happen this year? Yos Marin, um, and that we're excited about that. Uh, and as we prepare for that bell ringing ceremony, I'm just it just reminds me to remind everyone else to ring a bell at 8 a.m. And we want this to be something that all of Philadelphia participates in, and not just the individuals at one school with one ceremony, but we want everyone to ceremoniously ring a bell or make a bell sound, or if they're at work, at home, en route, um, wherever they are, uh, ring a bell at 8 a.m. and so we can all celebrate the start of school here in the city of Philadelphia.